Okay, let's see how we're doing. Hmm. Looks like I'm having a little bit of technical issues on this end. Let me try something. There we go. Good morning again. This is Corrine Sandin. Um, many of you know me by now. You've taken many classes. This is another class for the Age Friendly Group at the Recreation Department in Auburn. I think it's an awesome opportunity for folks. Um, today we will be making this cute little uh, first, your first Christmas card. Um, so, if you don't know me, my name is Corrine Sandin. I've been teaching stamping and scrapbooking for a number of years here in the Lewiston Auburn area and I'm excited to do another one. This is a coloring project for you so you will need some other uh, projects, uh, material other than what you get. So let's get started. You should have an envelope of products and in that you should have, be careful, there may be some little parts, which there is. You should have some brings an embossed uh, green piece, a piece for inside your card, your cute little snow uh, Santa, some folklore um, stars, and then the pom-pom. So I've already pre-folded this so that it would fit well in your envelope. So let's put in this piece first. And you can either use tape runner or your chombo, whichever you preferred. So we're going to set that inside so that it has a nice window all the way around it. Now this piece we can also put on, but because it's embossed, I would really suggest that you use some wet glue. Because sometimes these uh, tape runners can't get down in the groove and it just doesn't sit very well or stay long. So this is going to go right in the middle. And I realized that this green is different than this green, but I didn't have enough of this shaded spruce. So I used this uh, garden green, which to me is a little bit more Christmassy. So I'm going to start coloring my Santa. I'm using uh, markers. These are a water-based type marker, and again, you can buy markers any place. Now there's a little area right below his bell buckle. And most of these uh, craft type markers will have a dual tip. Now I'm going to do his pant legs. And if you're using some pencils, you could color his face if you would like. How much or how little you color is up to you. It's you. I'm only here to inspire, but you do your own creativity. A little bit of black. I hope you're all having a good day. Coloring is so relaxing. It helps all of us with our anxiety. Okay, so our little uh, snowman, not uh, snowman, get my character straight here. Our little Santa needs a pop-up. So I hopefully I remembered to put one in your packet. Sometimes I forget. 
get this backing off. That's the biggest challenge, isn't it? And I'm going to put them a little bit to the left so I can um, put my star. I'm going to put just a drop of glue on top here. Because this paper that I made the little pom-poms out of is a little bit more slippery. It's called shimmery paper. So you want to use your wet glue. Now for your stars and stuff, you certainly can use glue dots. Let me get these all on my roll. Oh, it doesn't look like I have my words. I hope you have yours. I'll have to go back and check the kits. Well, that one didn't stick. Let me put another one. I'll put that one right here. So I'm hoping you have words in this uh, in your packet. This one didn't get one. So I'm going to go back and check the other packets to make sure they're okay. All right. So that's the sample today. Of course, you will have this, I promise, in your kit. So you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this project. I have many more coming up for you guys. Um, I'm happy that the... Um, they're going to continue this class for you guys. All right, you please take care. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.